Hey everyone, Irit here with another art journal process and this is my practice sheet sort of speak for this online class that I'm taking. Um, I love taking online classes. <laughs> you know, I'm at the moment a stay-at-home mom and I live in the Austrian countryside and I don't have the possibility or opportunity to take any um, like real life classes so the internet is my way of learning from uh, people whose style I uh, admire and really enjoy watching I guess it's it's part learning and part entertainment for me I think I'd rather take a good online class than go to a movie or something <laughs> anyway um, this is a class by Mindy Lacefield uh, she's an American mixed media artist with the cutest most whimsical endearing um, I want to say childish, but only in the best way, um, you know, not in the skill of, you know, a child that just started painting kind of way. Um, it's just there's something about her drawings that just, I don't know, takes you somewhere, reminds you of your childhood. I'm not sure what it is, but I really, really love her style. And she offers a few online classes. And I just took this kind of introductory class um, to get a feel of her style. And yeah, because, you know, online classes can get uh, very pricey. And um, yeah, so I just I wanted to to see um, how she teaches. And I'm really enjoying this class. I think it's called Refined and Unrefined Face, something like that. She mostly paints faces. And yeah, so I'm practicing. And um, this is the Dina Wakely Media Journal, it's called. It's lovely. And my favorite uh, paper in it is the watercolor paper that is kind of like textured, but I don't know, in a bit of different way than I'm used to. I'm not sure what it's made of. It's almost looks a bit like fabric, but it's watercolor paper. I don't know. I don't think I've ever painted on something similar and I really like the way uh, paint behaves on it. So I'm drawing here with a Stabilo pencil and this pencil is water soluble. And I have to say that the first uh, face I painted <laughs> is my favorite. And then the other ones, you know, it's I'm I'm learning, I'm searching, I am really trying to not only like develop my style, but also just figure out what I love and what I want to paint and how I want it to look and then try to get there. And I have to tell you, it's not simple. Um, I also jump from this thing to that, from this medium to the next. And while watercolors manage to um, hold my fascination and uh, I haven't fallen out of love <laughs> with them and I don't think I ever will because they are just glorious um, out of all the other media. In, in my opinion, it's just my personal preference. It's just... Yeah, so it's it's very hard, you know, I'm I'm changing from this to that and I just I'm kind of all over the place. I'll be the first one to admit it. And I'm really trying to just find what I like and keep doing that and it's just it's a very interesting journey. And I don't know where it's taking me. So for now, it's taken me to this class. And I do like painting faces. I do. Um, I find them really interesting. And, you know, it's like this familiar thing that you're looking at. And um, I'm very drawn to face drawings. And 
Yeah, so I'm I'm just trying to find my style. I don't know. I'm, I'm it's it's just so hard sometimes and I also have to I'm one of these people that or I don't know if there are such people <laughs> that <laughs> I kind of want to reinvent the wheel with everything that I do and I see around me that you know artists and um yeah all types of artists they many times they do the same thing over and over again um because they love it and they're kind of you know fascinated with a subject or a color or whatever it is and i have to kind of remind myself that it's okay to do that i don't have to try and do something like new all the time and as i was drawing like all these faces i looked at the first one that i really like and i was like okay maybe i should just keep drawing that face um and you know see what happens so i don't know i'm just you know sharing my thoughts so i started with the jane davenport watercolors and then i decided to switch to the prima because they have a really nice flow the prima paints um so i was just playing around and that's it i kind of decided to leave it as it is and continue in this uh, journey and just make some more of these pages so thanks so much for watching leave me a comment if you have any questions i will link to everything i can think of <laughs> that's connected to this video <laughs> bye